Why does this Turkish M1935 bayonet, originally manufactured for the Mauser rifles, fit this M1 Garand? Well, that's nobody's business about the Turks. Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. Absolutely drenched in cosmoline there, but that means it should be pretty protected. I'll get this cleaned up. And as I said, this is a Turkish M1935 bayonet. However, it is not the standard M1935 bayonet, as they were manufactured to fit the Turkish Mauser rifles. So what happened? During the Korean War and later due to the military assistance program, the United States sent thousands of M1 Garands or Garands to Turkey. And I have not seen proper documentation, but the popular consensus is that they either did not send bayonets or they did not send enough bayonets with these rifles. However, I will point out that every photo I have seen of a Turkish soldier in the Korean War with an M1 Garand has the standard American pattern bayonet. Turkey receiving all these new rifles and not wanting to give up stabbing from a distance modified some of their M1935 bayonets, which apparently just required changing the size of the muzzle ring in order to equip them. They accomplished this in one of two ways. The first, you can see in this example. They completely replaced the cross guard on the bayonet with a new one that had the proper muzzle ring size to fit the M1 Garand. If you look closely, I personally think that this cross guard looks a little crude compared to the rest of the bayonet, pointing to its simplified modification. The other method they used was to attach a piece of steel to the cross guard on the handle side of the bayonet with the proper muzzle ring size drilled into the piece. The Garand barrel is slightly smaller than the Mauser barrels, so it just required a step down in size. This did end up mounting the bayonet a little further out than a normal configuration though. Personally, I think the second method is a little bit cooler just because it's kind of weird and it looks like they literally tacked it on, which they basically did, and it is funny to think of a military doing that to modify it for issue. You can tell this is a Turkish manufactured bayonet due to the ASFA marking, standing for Askari Fabrika or Ankara Military Rifle Factory. The only other marking on the bayonet is the serial number. There's nothing else on the cross guard or blade. I will note that Turkey also modified other models of bayonets for this same purpose. So you could find kind of odd bayonets also modified for the M1 Garand by Turkey. But going back to this M1935 bayonet, Victory Arms got a batch of these in, and this is where I purchased this one. I'm not affiliated with them, I don't sell these, I don't work for them, but I think it's a cool piece of history. Obviously it's been in storage, it's surplus, there's nicks on the blade, there's parts I could probably clean up a little better, there's parts that may not clean up at all. Specifically the scabbard looks a little worse for wear, however I think they have a pretty good price on these. This is like $30. And looking at other examples online on eBay, Gunbroker, etc., most of these tend to be selling for or posted at like a hundred. Now, the only pictures they have on the website have this style of the bayonet and not the one with the tacked on piece of metal. So I assume if you want one like that, you'll have to search elsewhere. But for kind of a nifty, weird niche thing and a kind of different bayonet for your M1 Garand, I think this is a pretty good deal. I'm happy I bought it. It's a nice little thing to add to my collection. It's different, I can say that for sure. So I don't have any regrets with this. That's all I have for today. 
Be sure to comment below if you purchase one of these yourselves and what condition you get it in, or if you have seen these elsewhere at better prices. Don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to the channel to get more content. Thanks for watching.